What's up guys, welcome back once again to Did Reviews. Today I'm looking at another cooler. This one is from a company that some people may not have heard of. Um, I personally have heard of them. I've been looking at some of their stuff before and we got interested in some of their stuff because it's sort of a more unknown brand. Um, and I always like to check out the unknown brands if I can. Um, but I was lucky enough for these to contact me. Uh, this is Gamdia, so thank you to them for contacting me and getting this sent out to me. And they asked me if I wanted to basically check out this uh, new cooler of theirs, which is the Boreas, a Boreas P1720. This is a gaming CPU air cooler. Um, so it's a big tower, dual tower CPU cooler. Um, so we're going to get this on box. We'll have a look at it, get it installed onto the system with a 5900X, and then we'll uh, we'll see how well it performs. And uh, I'll obviously let you know at the end. So let's get it in unboxed, installed, and uh, let's have a look. Right, so obviously, as I said in the uh, intro, this is the Gamdias Boreas P1720 Gaming CPU Air Cooler. Big name, um, big cooler by the looks of it. Um, so let's just quickly talk through the uh, specs of it uh, before we get it unboxed so you can see what you, what sort of it's aiming at and what you're getting. Uh, high-end performance up to 270 watt TDP, so it should be good for most of your high-end coolers, your 3900Ks, your 7950Xs, things like that. Dimensions which you're going to need to know to get obviously know if it fits in your case is 148 by 172 by 157. Uh, probably not a lot needs to show you on the back. Uh, we've got some information here which is probably going to be interesting to some people in terms of RAM clearance. So it's from the front fan, you've got 35 mil space in, but there is a step behind it um, where you may be able to fit RAM in. And then there's a 60 mil from the back which also shows RAM, but that's not normally on most boards unless you're going for high end boards. Um, like quad channel memory then you're not going to find ram on the other side anyway but there's 60 more that side and um, just to let you know so we get some instructions on how to install it should be pretty straightforward most of these coolers are nowadays we get a box here with all of our installation pieces for all your different bracketry and things like that they give you a little screwdriver as well which is nice so we've got the cooler out but first let's talk about the fans uh, like i said you've got 120 mil that goes on the front standard 120 mil by 25 mil size feels really solid actually um, no hub wobble really talk of obviously the tiny bit that like you get in all the fans um feels really solidly made vibration mounts on all the corners um not that it might matter too much on a cpu cooler and then we've got a four pin pwm with pass through as well so you can link the two together and then install them on one header and then this is the center fan which is sort of a 140 mil for fan blade so now let's talk about the cooler itself and here you can see this is the cooler and oh my god this is absolutely lovely looking um in terms of as air coolers go, I'll say they're big chunks of metal normally, um, but the design on this, wow, um, they've really thought this through. It looks absolutely stunning. One of the nicest air coolers I've seen. Um, yeah, it looks really, really nice. Um, so let's have a quick talk about it. You've got Gamdias logo on the front, on the top here, uh, with these sort of nice brushed metal plates on top, which look really, really nice. Um, looking at this, you've got quite a sort of dense fin stack here um, for your heat pipes. Um, obviously these are aluminium as stated before um, so quite a lot of heat pipes there uh, sorry fins um, so there is a lot of area um, for cooling potential there as you can see we've got these two steps here um, which are to aid with sort of ram clearance and things like that uh, and vrm clearance so you've got the two steps in it i suppose technically you could put this either way around if you needed to um, so there is that there looking at it um, it does actually lean in a bit i don't know if you can t see that on the camera it's actually sort of leaning into the middle a little bit whether that's normal or not i don't know um i might, I might ask them and see uh, to make sure uh, and then we said we got seven one two three four five six seven copper heat pipes um look like six mil in diameter to me uh, and we've got obviously cover uh, copper plate on the bottom uh, nickel plated and we've got a pre-installed mounting mechanism as well which i really like to see i don't like these ones where you have to fit them to it yourself or fiddle about with it um so there is that there as well uh, and that's pretty much all there is to show you about the cooler itself in terms of the way it looks um and its features so let's get it installed and uh, we'll see how it performs Right, so they've got the Gambias Boreas P1720 installed. 
and uh, I think you'll agree with me from the B-roll, it looks beautiful, um, looks really, really nice. Massive chunk of metal hanging off your CPU socket as uh, normal. Um, but yeah, the styling of it is very, very good. Um, I'd really like it. As you could probably hear then, uh, full tilt is quite high. Um, it's quite loud, should I say. Um, so let's talk about, um, obviously we've talked about aesthetics, how, how good it looks. Let's talk about um, the performance of it. So first of all, I'm going to talk about the noise of it. Um, so I tested it at 25, 50, 75 and 100% of fan speed um, to see uh, basically the noise levels that it gives. Um, bearing in mind, uh, I've turned all the other fans off in this case. Uh, the only fan that's still running is the GTX, uh, RTX 3080 fans edition, um, which just runs all the time, but it's only running slow during this testing. Uh, and my noise floor in here is about 30 decibels without the PC on. With the PC on, it's about 39, 40, something like that. Um, so you get a sort of idea um, as sort of how loud these are. So at 25% was at 39 decibels, so pretty much the noise floor. At 50% was at 40 decibels, so again, just a little bit over. At 75% we got to 46 decibels, and at 100% we got to 54. It did get quite loud. This is quite a loud cooler. I won't, I won't uh, say anything else really about it in terms of, I won't try and butter it up. It is loud when it's running at full tilt. But please bear in mind, I've got panels off on this, and I've sat it right in my uh, decibel meter right next to the computer. Um, so with your panels on, it probably it obviously is going to be quieter. Um, but I wanted to get the full sort of experience of how loud the cooler is on its own, uh, unhindered kind of thing. So let's get on to the uh, sort of temperature results. That's probably what you're more interested in, in terms of how well it performs. So we ran Cinebench R23 uh, for five minutes multi-core, and then we also did a gaming test on Shadow of the Tomb Raider at 1080p. Uh, to push as much through the CPU as possible and heat it up, giving you a more uh, real-world sort of gaming scenario of how this will perform, because Cinebench obviously is a, sort of a worst-case scenario. So Cinebench, um, we did, like I said, five-minute run. Uh, we did uh, the temperature in this room, ambient, was around 25 degrees when I started this test, and uh, the maximum I got on Cinebench was 69 on the CPU, and that's a uh, 44 degrees of over-ambient. Um, so not a bad result, uh, not the best I've seen, uh, but not bad at all. Um, and then we went on to Shadow of the Tomb Raider, which ran the benchmark basically, uh, and the temperature had increased by this point uh, to around 26 degrees. Um, so obviously I've adjusted the over ambient figures uh, accordingly. And a maximum of 64 on the CPU, however the average was only 56. Um, so as you can probably see, the 64 was a spike rather than uh, a constant temperature, uh, as it's 56 average, so it was running below 64 for most of the test. Um, so 56 is not bad, and it's not going to cause you any issues whatsoever. You're still going to get all your clock speeds pretty much. Um, so yeah, that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Hope it gives you an insight into this call, and whether you want to go for a Gamdias. Uh, like I said, it's a quite a unheard of sort of brand, um, but they do do some really nice stuff. Um, so have a look at their website. Uh, thank you again to them for sending this out for me for review. Um, if you like this video, give it a like. If you didn't like it, give it a dislike. Uh, leave me in the comments in the comment section below. And if you haven't already subscribed, then please don't forget to do so. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.